Hi, welcome to Kerbalized Realism, a Kerbal story taking place in Kerbal-sized real solar system at 2.5 scale of Kerbin, with less real than realism. I am Foxworth the Human. Our story starts at the new long-range test facility of the United States of Kermerica's Air Force in Cape Canaveral, Florida. March 18th, 1951, during the first launch, it's the Little Leo sounding rocket. It flies for 1 minute, 30 seconds. It achieves an altitude of 6,781 meters high and hits a speed of 539 meters per second. And there it hits its, uh, they ain't hit it yet, but it's uh, flipping out. And it's going to come crashing down not too far from the pad. Now, a look at the RP0 tech tree. With the four science they gained from the first launch contract, they will select supersonic plane development, supersonic flight, and post war material science. They grab an altitude sounding rocket low contract to reach 38,000 meters. They begin building the next sounding rocket, the Carol B. That'll take 92 days, and we get three upgrade points. So we throw one in the space, space plane hangar, and then the rest in RD, because I am stocking very heavily and R&D because I want to get this tech done as fast as possible. On May 16th the supersonic plane development tech is finished. Four days later on May 20th Mission Control gets an upgrade and they immediately start on the next one. This upgrade allows three contracts the next one will be five contracts. The Caro B gets finished it has a three-day roll and then is ready for launch. It is June 21st. It takes off. A little booster separation. And now it is running on the sustainer engine. This launch of a Carol B rocket will go for 5 minutes and 13 seconds. It completes the 38,000 meter contract by going 43,347 meters high. It has a top speed of 813 meters per second. It demonstrates multiple engine lights and it flies out into the Atlantic while collecting a little bit of high atmosphere science on the way. Also another thing with uh, let's now that the KRSS, it's uh, the less than realism kind of takes away from the realism that there is no science below well, in this version 28,500 which is where the, the high altitude starts. It's common knowledge anything below that so there's no science anything under yeah, any low, low atmosphere on the earth none of that science counts. Only up for the atmosphere and beyond. And then they grab early material science, post war rocketry testing, early rocketry 1950 to 1951, and early solid rocket engines. Then another low altitude sounding rocket contract, this time to reach 53 kilometers. August 10th, supersonic flight tech finishes which means the Air Force can start building their new jet, the KA-J2W, with an estimated time of 214 days and 8 hours. We'll see that in the next episode. The morning of September 14th, the second Carol B is ready for flight. It lasts 5 minutes and 32 seconds. It reaches 58,209 meters and gets to a speed of 708 meters per second. It gets kind of out of control and doesn't head out to the Atlantic like it's supposed to. Instead, 
it goes inland, almost making it all the way to the Gulf. Luckily, it comes down in uninhabited land. Although before that, it just kind of spins out of control as it falls down. It attempts to relight its, its engine to try to help with the instability, but that was to no avail either. It just keeps kind of falling and spinning and falling till boom. They grab another contract for 58 kilometers, which they just hit. So they decide they're going to push further for 70 to unlock some more contracts. Post War Science finishes up, and November 10th, Mission Control does. Then it adds a sweet new little antenna dish there. December 10th, the third Caribbean is ready for liftoff. Ignition, it takes off. Oh, the second stage ignites slightly early, exploding the starter booster. The flight still lasts 5 minutes and 53 seconds. It does reach 70,807 meters. It got all the way to the Gulf this time. With a new speed record of 939 meters per second. That'll wrap up 1951 and this episode. If you like this, please hit that like button and subscribe. Also, the bell if you'd like to continue this story. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you're still here waiting for this to crash into the golf, here are a couple more videos you might be suggested. Once again, goodbye.